Aloha, everybody. Mike Jutar, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty, here with another property tour for you. This is going to be a really special house, and it's also going to be a little bit of a unique property tour. Uh, what you're actually looking at is a video that I took for a client who was considering purchasing this property. In the end, they decided to pass, but the listing agent, Brian Axelrod, over at Venture Sotheby's, uh, he let me go ahead and put this out for everybody else to see uh, a truly spectacular home in Bayview Estates. So this one is listed currently at $3.99 million. It's basically uh, pretty much like a Kukio Resort home uh, in Bayview. So it's $4 million instead of, say, $12 or $14 million. Uh, This home has a lot of features we're going to go into. This is going to be a very in-depth uh, video tour. I'm going to tell you my three favorite things I like about this property. First of all, we're going here in the garage. Everything in this house is really big and is done up really well. Uh, the garage is 868 square feet. That's pretty big. <laughs> it's a three-car garage. It's got some additional storage. Uh, you can see back there is a pump filtration system uh, for the water feature. Uh, over here at the beginning, you also notice back there they had the central vac system for the house. Uh, coming upstairs above the garage is a little guest quarters. Now, they have it set up maybe like an office. You can do a lot of different things with this. Uh, this second floor guest quarter up here is 540 square feet, a good amount of space. Uh, and it has this little area here. Look at that. You got a little bar sink got a fridge and because there's no cooking surface there's no stove or microwave or anything like that it is completely legal so that's really a big deal custom windows a lot of custom woodwork throughout you've got some african mahogany pretty much in every every piece of trim uh, and this one those look like custom windows for me not ordered off the shelves but some of the guys here who do great work will actually just take the wood and completely build out uh, the window frames. I'm not 100% sure that's a custom window, but I think it is. We could find out from the listing agent if necessary. The house uses extensive work in travertine everywhere. This shower here is a, a good example. The shower is a little bit on the small side. Uh, it's definitely big enough for one person, uh, but that's about it on that one. And then from the shower, you can see we have high ceilings, can't quite tell from here, but they also use bullnose everywhere that they need to at the edge of the trim that's used on that uh, tile in the shower. You see that even on the walkways throughout the house. And then we have a good amount of living space here. So this is your single room setup. So you can set it up like they have it as a little office, uh, as a seating area. Uh, I think most people would probably install maybe a queen or king size bed in there possibly put a TV over here on uh, the dresser. Uh, good time to point out that this house is being sold turnkey furnished. There might be a couple pieces of art, but most of the art is going with it. Uh, and you don't see this very often on a, a guest quarter. You have a pocket slider, and it's not even like the regular pocket sliders that we see. Most of the time, these Fleetwood sliding doors, it's a really large, thick metal track. Uh, top end will be having these doors actually glide across rails that are inset into the ground. And in between those rails, you'll have your wood flooring. We're back out here at the front entrance. We got the gate right behind us. The garage with that upstairs area was over to our left. And now I'm cutting through here to the right to the guest pod. Now we have really uh, two really <laughs> nicely done bedrooms, full on and suite bathrooms. Uh, and a connected area, a little sitting area in between on here. I would put maybe a, a walkway connecting right there. It wasn't uh, really easy to get through there, but my, I'm wondering if, if you live there, if people, when they walked in the gate, might immediately come over to this area instead of the main house. So maybe that's the reason to keep it sort of uh, separated out there. That was a good look at the tracks that we have on the bottom where these pocket sliders go in and out. I'm kind of describing how usually um, on some of the more basic uh, pocket sliding systems. You have a giant, you know, like one foot wide aluminum uh, piece that sits in there. So this is taking things up to the next level, and they did that pretty much throughout the house. I, 
I had a really tough time finding anything here in this house to um, not be completely satisfied with. You see that we have recessed lighting, uh, we have a ceiling treatment, we have speakers in the ceilings. You may have also noticed the really slim line vents for the ACs instead of that uh, you know big huge AC vent that you commonly see in most homes. So little attention to detail, things like that. And then we're trimmed out in this wood throughout the home. The carpet was used here in the in the bedroom, and it is a, you know a totally upgraded carpet. It feels incredible on your feet. I know a lot of people don't care for carpet, but if you're going to have it, you want to have some really good carpet. Uh, they did it there. This is grade five sheetrock work. Now I didn't even know this until just a couple years ago. There are a few different grades of sheetrock work that you can get done. Just your basic sheetrock, and then there's some higher end stuff. Um, that's something I was completely unaware of, but on these high-end places, you're going to see a little more attention to detail and higher-end sheetrock work on this. It really shows throughout the home. It looks pretty incredible. So one thing I liked about how they had these guest suites set up is that you have your shower there, right? So that's cool. You expect that. And then you have that. It's not a window. It's a door. Where you go to your outside shower now that's awesome for an owner's suite that's pretty much unheard of for a guest suite to have your own outdoor shower there that was really nice travertine throughout mentioned that before he's got travertine on the flooring and travertine uh, tile in the bathrooms going up uh, in the showers really well used out here have a sink, a little uh, refrigerator kind of like we had upstairs at that other unit so this is a common space in between these two guest suites, a little bit of storage here, got a TV, got a service door access outside. And again, you see our, our work. And you're going to see the same thing throughout the home. Each room has these uh, ceiling treatments in here, the same vents, the same ceiling fans, the same windows, the same trim. It looks absolutely sharp throughout the home. We have a stairway going down with access to our pool pump below, because we do have a really spectacular pool on this house, uh, and we're gonna get to that. I know you're gonna love seeing that. Here's our other guest suite. Now, to me, this is the premium of the two guest suites. We have a shower here. We have, again, another outdoor shower as well. So, uh, two outdoor showers before we even get to the owner's suite. That's pretty spectacular. That's pretty much uh, unheard of even in our market. And you see one thing that they did there, they used a roof piece to connect these pods. So technically they're all one structure. So that was really smart because there was a period of time where uh, it was really difficult to do the pod style homes out here. We saw that, that wasn't getting approved by the County of Hawaii uh, and they got that corrected. Uh, we have a nice slider here in the, the main guest suite as well. King size bed, plenty of space. You see our ceiling treatments that we have here again. Beautiful artwork throughout. Really tastefully done. This home is just ready to enjoy right off the bat. And the thing, of course, that makes this your premium guest suite is right out there to your ocean view. Pretty spectacular. This is the, the crown jewel of Bayview Estates, which is a very highly desired neighborhood. There we are looking down into Keoho Bay with the Sheraton over there. And you'll have sunset views, I think, all year round. We're looking out there to the west. Uh, even in the, the summer and the winter, you'll have it all the way. You can see a little bit of our pool over here. And that concludes the guest pod. So now we're going to move on to the next area. Here we are coming back in from the front to the main house. Got this incredible water treatment. I'm sorry. You got this incredible water feature. There we go. It's coming in, uh, which is really nice. The sound of that thing is it's nice, and you hear it uh, throughout this area of the home, and it's really calming. It's just wonderful. like how they have the seating area here as soon as you're coming in. You know as soon as you walk into this house that you're, as soon as you get in that gate, you're like, whoa, this, this one's different, uh, and it just makes such an impression as soon as you get in here. We got that travertine out here. You could put a larger table here if you wanted to. You have a walkway that goes down into some service doors. 
and then all the way to the owner's pod at the far end of the house. And now we're going to come back in here to the main part of the house. I apologize for the glare we're getting in the sunset there. Uh, really shortly, I do a better job with our lens, and you're going to see that in a minute where the colors start to pop a lot more. Uh, huge pocket slider for your front door. That's your front door. And another big one right behind me here. And you're seeing some of the artwork uh, tastefully done everywhere. Uh, and again, they're selling this one turnkey furnished. So you're going to love that one for sure. There we go. There's our camera quality improving. That's what we should have done from the beginning. Uh, this service door here just leads out to the guest pod. My suspicion is that the way they had it set up is uh, to make sure people didn't go into the guest pod as soon as they walked into the home uh, and that this is the way into the guest pod. You can see our lighting system that we have here. And then here's a good look at the ceiling treatment that we have here. An incredible kitchen setup. You see a massive pass through over there. High ceilings. Really just absolutely exquisite work on this. And you can see we have it looks like a, a bamboo uh, finish up there in the ceilings. We got our recessed lighting, we got our speakers up there, so you have your, your sound system going throughout the house. It was really nice when I was touring it. Uh, Brian was kind enough to turn the music on, uh, and you could hear that throughout the home. And it was just, uh, it's really neat when you're able to include that, incorporate that in the home. I can imagine when you're having people over, they're really gonna love it. It's just kind of a, a calming and relaxing uh, environment that you have there. Huge living area, plenty of space. They have it set up to be uh, both a TV viewing area and a conversation area. I think you got a lot of flexibility here with how you set that up. Uh, excellent built-in. You'll notice the art niches on either side of the TV there as well. Coming around here, uh, everything is just perfectly set up. Look at these gorgeous uh, art pieces here, this Japanese-inspired sort of, I don't think that's actually jade, if I recall correctly, uh, and these nice wood carvings of the Honu. The furniture out here, everything just sets up absolutely perfectly for this house. Uh, this is where you're coming, though. I, I, I like the inside, don't get me wrong, but boy, just being out here in the environment with that pool and with that view uh, and all the space they have set up here with this massive, massive uh, covered lanai. In terms of total square footage, let me check our numbers here. I think we have something like 1,300 or so feet of covered lanai out here at this house. Uh, the house itself, uh, total living area, including that the guest pods and the guest area above the garage was over 4,000. It's 4,276 square feet. Uh, and I like the work of the fire here. Look at that. You notice the tiki torches. You had some tiki torches when you first came in, uh, but these fire features on the corner of the pool are just awesome. Really nice touch setting it up above uh, everything else that we see. Well done sconces on the outside. The use of light, the use of music, the use of fire, the use of water in this house is really incredible. And then this full on outdoor kitchen. You got our Viking hood, it's in great shape. Our grill, uh, you have a cook surface on there. All these drawers, you can slide in a refrigerator. Maybe that was a crash compactor there. I'm not really sure. Definitely has something that we need to put in there. And then we have this granite countertop with your bar sink as well. So really great area for entertaining. We're seeing outdoor areas, particularly with entertaining and dining and cooking, becoming much more and more important every year. People are really enjoying that. And check that out. A built-in coffee and cappuccino maker right there. How you like that? And then they have even a little hideaway TV there to watch the game. Plenty of outdoor storage. How often do you see outdoor storage uh, quite like that? And again, we have our track system for our roll, roll away pocket sliders for this massive pass through right to the kitchen. Absolutely outstanding. That's not something that you see very commonly. Yet another slider going in here to the dining area. Check that out. These massive windows. This whole wall 
if you're here in this dining area, is just basically windows. You got the large plate window and then two uh, vertical sliding windows there. And then our pool with our infinity edge. You got the water that can overflow from the hot tub when you have that set up. 180 degree coastline view, uh, plaster, colored plaster, infinity edge pool. And uh, it's just absolutely spectacular out there. Coming here into the dining room, plenty of space. They have a six uh, chair table set up here. You could easily put in uh, an eight person table. And they got a lot of spacing, as you can see right there. You could probably just slide in a couple more chairs and make it an eight person table. But there was a little bit of space to make it a larger table as well, or put a larger table in there as well. And here we are in the kitchen. This is the setup. So of course we're gonna have dovetail joints, custom cabinetry. This isn't the off the floor stuff. Soft clothes and a lot of storage in here. I always like it when they have it set up so if you are here in the kitchen uh, that you're looking outside. And another setup that we're seeing quite often, I think this one had it, you saw it on the left uh, of the sink, we had uh, a traditional dishwasher. And then to the right, we had two drawer uh, dishwashers as well. When you're entertaining a lot of people, you know, you need that extra space. Uh, Viking cooktop grill. Those of you who are on the channel know how much I love that. Uh, that's really awesome. Boy, I wonder, was that a trash compactor over to the left? Because we got another dishwasher behind us. Interesting. We'll have to check. I don't know if one of those is a trash compactor or maybe an ice bin. S, it might be ice to the left of the sink. I'm not really sure, but we already have two dishwashers, so I don't think we have a third. Uh, here's your beverage cooler, dual zone, so you can have your red and white wine in there. Like the slide away system there, you can have your rubbish and your recycling. More storage back here. Glass fronts on those cabinets. And then how's that for a pantry? Boy, pantry, recipe area, keeping extra plates. I don't think that's actually a pantry. I think it's just uh, additional storage. Have a Viking microwave. And our oven. And then check out the refrigerator. This is like a $25,000 refrigerator. Really nice. Tell me what you think about having the glass front on those. I like them, but you know, I'm also can be a little bit of a mess in the fridge. I think if there's glass fronts there, then now I'm obligated to make sure everything uh, looks good. I do like the drawers and how that's set up down here. I think that's really awesome. And we have that one service door going back out to that walkway. We saw that uh, from the front. And then I was absolutely in love with this sink and this countertop. The copper in there with the patina. And then this granite uh, just exploded with color. It really worked out well for that patina that's on the copper. I uh, really like that. And then they had a copper bamboo style frame around that mirror. Nice touch there. Really like that a lot. So this is our powder room for everyone to use when you're entertaining over uh, people. And then another service door over here to our washer and dryer. That door goes through back here to the kitchen and the dining room. So I'm coming around here to make sure everyone gets their bearings. And then we come in here to our utility. Oh, we got a little linen closet right there. There's our utility. Plenty of storage over here with our washer and dryer, uh, a sink over on the far side, and then you're back out. You can see the landscaping, great use of haliconias and gingers, plumerias, uh, different plants throughout that really kept everything looking absolutely stunning. Check that out. You have a concrete tile roof. Um, it was gorgeous. I know I didn't focus on that so much. And then they have a really unique setup here. So right now, the way they have it set up is that this owner's pod has two separate bedrooms. Now, originally when they built the home, their intention was to use what's currently the guest pod as the owner's uh, suite. 
Then they realized after they got here and got to the lot and saw how everything was laid out that this was the side that they wanted to have the owner's suite on. So right now they have it set up with basically a, another bedroom and a suite with the in-suite bath as you're seeing right here and a nice built-in there. And then you got a lockout door right here. Another great built-in there for a dresser. So you could make that a, a bedroom all on its own and then simply have this side as your owner's suite. I think what I would do is probably set up that area back there as a yoga room or an exercise workout room, perhaps an office, just one of those areas that you wanna keep and kind of private for your owner's suite. I don't know that I'd have another bed there, but if you have a big family and that's really important to you, you certainly have the ability to do that. So now here we are in the owner's bathroom. Uh, we're just finishing off the tour with some amazing finishes that we've seen throughout, but now uh, yeah, our privacy door and extra storage there in the water closet. Uh, instead of having a dual vanity uh, set up, uh, each person has their own side uh, over there. I don't know if we caught that. We might come back to that again. We have our rain shower head and our regular shower head. And I think I have a little trouble here with the lock if I remember right, yeah. Out here to our third outdoor shower uh, on the property. I think this is my first house where I've seen three outdoor showers uh, set up. Um, you got some plants there about to bloom, some heliconias, I noticed some blue ginger in there. And you had a gate going out to the pool area as well. So there's one of our sinks right there, and then there's also one on another wall. And we come out, we have another miniature refrigerator set up here with a small sink, a great place to set up some coffee, maybe put some cocktails in there, uh, finishing off the night, a little glass of wine. And then we have a really good size closet here. I'm going to blur out um, their personal belongings, out of respect for them. Uh, good size on the closet. And then finishing it off with uh, two sliders here on the corner of the owner's bedroom. We see our, our recessed lighting up in there, uh, our indirect lighting coming up from the bottom in that ceiling treatment, the two pocket sliders going out here to your view. So watching the sunset view at the end of the day, uh, looking down the pool. All right, my three favorite things about the property. Number one, the lot is absolutely perfectly positioned inside Bayview Estates. It is it is the prime property. Number two, it's got that pod style living that people really like. Now, you'll notice everything, there you saw it real quick, is connected by a single roof. Um, that that's really good setup you know <laughs> when you're walking from one pod to the other you're not going to get wet so that's really nice um, so i really love this sort of pod style setup that they have there and then number three just the drop dead gorgeous outdoor setup plenty of space to entertain your outdoor kitchen your hot tub that overflows into your pool that's vanishing edge this is just absolutely spectacular property i hope you like it be sure to click like and subscribe. See you again real soon.